My name is Matambo Ngakayaja. I'm the manager at the Tika Innovation Center, a project uh, that is uh, founded by these hands, Botswana, uh, through a number of partners, school inventors, and others. Um, it's a project here based in the, in the, in the car, uh, which is also hosting now uh, the 26th IDDS Summit. IDDS is short for International Development and Design Summit. An innovation center is a facility, an organization designed to support innovators and individuals who are looking to develop technologies. They do that by providing space, tools, some training, and the support of a like-minded community of individuals who are all working on similar projects. Now, the IDEN Innovation Centers are particularly focused on trying to help support innovations that are designed to support and add value to the communities in which they are being developed. The Innovation Center is a, a center which has basically a bi-purpose center. Uh, the one purpose of the center is as, uh, we have a computer center which tries to address our two problems, first of all, to create a communication center in the car whereby people are able to uh, gain access to communication through the computer and venues uh, through the computer such as the internet and, and so forth using email and other other uh, ways uh, as well as also trying to create access to uh, the use of a computer for communities uh, in the car and then the other aspect of the building is that uh, there is a workshop uh, which has uh, tries to provide uh, a number of resources to the community including power tools, hand tools and a variety of other devices uh, which communities are hoped would be able to come to the center to be able to, to, to create devices which they could use to simplify their subsistence challenges back at home. We have IDEN Innovation Centers in 12 countries around the world and my job is simply to support them in the work that they do, connecting them to one another to help them gather and exchange resources, answer questions, offer advice. The Innovation Center here in Dikar is very new. It's just been finished, really, for this summit. Uh, the idea came during the last summit um, in Dikar last year. And we have been very excited to refurbish a building that was going unused here in the area uh, that's right behind me, um, which is now in a really wonderful state and has been able to support the work of the participants in this summit over the course of the past three and a half weeks. I hope that uh, the community of Duca will understand that the center is a resource, a very important resource for them. It provides resources, as in tools, power tools, hand tools, and so forth, so forth, uh, so that uh, which communities could use to make uh, life easier for them uh, back at home. Uh, the other thing that I think the innovation center pro provides is that it creates an important platform through which some communities could uh, use the center to use their culture as an entry point to, to benefit, to gain benefits from the tourism uh, uh, sector uh, so that uh, uh, visitors who necessarily are not acclimatized to the sun culture may come, to get, may come to learn the sun culture and thereby pay a bit of return to the sun people. Uh, and uh, this would be a very benefit that I, I see that the center could play uh, to the Dika community and the communities in Hansi outside Dika. We are very excited to have the center here in Dika. We think that it can have a real impact on the community members who are already living and working here. And they are particularly excited about the opportunities that the tools provide to expand the range of things that they can make. And the fact that in this particular center, not only do we have tools for manufacturing, but we also have a very well-established computer lab, which provides both computer equipment and access to the internet for all of the local uh, innovators, which increases their ability to market their products. So we hope that these innovators find success, both in making things that can help improve their lives here, 
and in making things that they can sell to others, both locally and all around the world, that can help provide them with a livelihood.